And now while the opposition politicizes the Prime Minister's Har Ghar Tiranga pitch, young, young girls from Jammu are now sending a stern message to the opposition. These Jammu girls have taken out a mobile Tiranga Yatra rally to raise a tricolor at Lal Chowk and then hoist the national flag at Kargil Heights as well, where hundreds of our soldiers were martyred in 1999 during the conflict with Pakistan. These girls have sent a strong message now to members of the opposition who have been raising serious questions about this entire campaign. They are basically saying that our brave hearts and their memory cannot be insulted and that the tricolor should not be politicized. Watch this special report that has been sent in by my colleague Pradeep Datta from Jammu and Kashmir. At a time when opposition is trying to politicize Gargar -gar Tiranga, you can see these young girls from Jammu region, they are trying to set an example. They are trying to set an example of patriotism. They have taken out a Taranga rally on these bikes. They'll be going to Kashmir Valley. At Lal Chok, they'll be raising Taranga. And from there, they'll be moving towards Kargil Heights. Same Kargil Heights were our brave hearts sacrificed their lives. They were able to take out all those Pakistani soldiers who were entrenched inside those bunkers. So they will be going, saluting those brave hearts, remembering their supreme sacrifice and also sending a message loud and clear to opposition party leaders. This is something not to be politicized because what hurts them more is when somebody tries to politicize banner of truth, when somebody tries to politicize this tricolor because they feel the tricolor is not fluttering because of the blowing winds. Tricolor is fluttering because of the supreme sacrifice of soldiers. Let's speak to them. We have got Preeti Chaudhary with us. She is the one who is leading this bikers rally. What led you to go for this rally? When the matter is about our country, it is about our flag, the energy, the vibe, the valor, the sacrifice which our soldiers have made during the 19 and 1999, during Kargil War, it is unmatchable when we Indians, we, every citizen of our country, every young citizen, my sisters, my brother, hold equal value, equal emotions. About what this is, what is your message to those political party leaders who are once again trying to politicize this Gargar Taranga? Don't mess with the new India. Don't mess with Narendra Modi ji. Just remember about surgical strike and don't even dare to talk don't anything. Don't mess about. with new India because this is a new India, new Indians, new thought process and that thought process is that they can do anything for the country. I'm being joined by Pradeep Datta now live. Pradeep, uh, uh, a very strong message being sent out by those women uh, who are embarking on this adventure to hoist the Tiranga atop Lal Chowk and eventually at the Kargil Heights as well. A message very strong in symbolism. Tell us a bit about their backgrounds, their diverse backgrounds, who they are. See, diverse background, if I have to talk about, some of them are students, some of them are employees, and some of them are social workers, and they have decided, all of them started, they came together, they decided that this time they will be taking out a rally, Tiranga rally, they will be going from Jammu towards the Lal Chuk, where they will be hoisting Tiranga, and then after that they will be going towards the Kargil region, where we saw that hundreds of soldiers sacrificed their lives to ensure that not a single inch of land is taken by Pakistan, to safeguard the integrity, security, and safety of the country. And that's one of the reasons I think they are very angry when I asked them a question about the politicization of the Ghargar Taranga by some of the political party leaders, they said they should understand one thing, don't mess up with this thing because it's not about Taranga. When we sit talk about Taranga, it's about emotions, it's about sentiments, about the 1.3 billion Indian and it's also like rubbing salt on the wounds of family members of all those martyrs who sacrificed their lives. Because when, I, when we see Taranga fluttering or when we see Taranga uh, moving, it's because of the supreme sacrifice of those soldiers who stood like a rock on the border, took bullets on their body who stood like a, a wall in the hinterland involved in the counter terror operation. That's what they have to understand. I think th this is something what our political party leaders, this has become a standard operation procedure because when the surgical strike was conducted, they called it a surgical strike. When uh, the Galwan attack took place, they started asking questions. This doctor can keep on asking questions and today also when the Prime Minister tweeted about this thing that this is going to deepen connect between the people of India and our Tiranga. I think they have to understand that emotion Absolutely. and sentiment. Very strong. Message, uh, Pradeep, and I'm sure you'll be tracking their journey very closely. 
will in fact uh, await uh, the moment where they end up hoisting the flag above Lal Chowk and eventually on the Kargil Heights as well. Thank you for that update and that report. Now, politics has continued to play out on this particular event uh, ever since the Prime Minister made this uh, a campaign. And opposition parties have, uh, in fact, uh, questioned the BJP over what they call is its hypocrisy. Uh, they've even questioned uh, the push for China-made flags as well as the silence on the part of the Bharatiya Janata Party over the RSS not hoisting uh, the national flag, the tricolor, for a period of 52 years between 1950 and 2002. The opposition has raised serious questions now of the BJP and made this entire campaign into a political event. We are not playing politics. We are simply telling him that you have no moral high ground to talk about the national flag because you and your ideologue boycotted the national flag for 52 long years. It's not a span of time like two years or something. 52 long years, the RSS headquarters never hoisted the flag. They considered it inauspicious and things like that. You're shutting down enterprises that make the Khadi flag. It's very rich that hypocrisy is a word that the Prime Minister is using. RSS headquarters... कॉप तिरंगा झंडा और अपना ऑफिस में ले रहा है कॉप ले रहा है मेरा क्वेश्चन है बीजेपी लीडरशिप को पहले आरएसएस का घर घर में जाके तिरंगा ले रहा है बाकी आरएसएस छोड़ के सारे हिंदुस्तानी का घर में तिरंगा ले रहा हुआ है फ्रॉम डे वन अरे ये तो हम लोग जो किया है पीएम मोदी वही कर रहा है पहले से अली मुलामाओ ने जो किया है तिरंगा झंडा लेके घर घर में पहुंचा दिया आज सत्तर साल बाद मोदी जी ये कर रहा है पहली बात यह है कि पॉलिटिक्स में पहली दफा मैं देख रहा हूं कि तिरंगे के ऊपर राजनीति हो रही है और तिरंगे के ऊपर राजनीति वो कर रहे हैं जिन्होंने तिरंगा को कभी अपनाया ही नहीं यहां इश्यूज तो और भी है ना इश्यू तो महंगाई है इश्यू तो बेरोजगारी है ये लोगों की तवज्जो डाइवर्ट करने के लिए तिरंगे की तरफ ले गया तो तिरंगा जो ऐसी कोई चीज है नहीं बिल्कुल ड्रामाबाजी है ये क्या नाम है नेशनलिज्म इससे नहीं चलेगा नेशनलिज्म चलेगा जम्मू कश्मीर में अगर तिरंगा है तो तिरंगा इसके बगैर भी हर एक आदमी अपने घर से खुद झंडा बना के अपने घर पर